This, if you look over this side of my carriage bridge, um, is where Hume Hall was. There's, you can see the natural rock where the, the hall stood. And this is where one of the directors of Peel Holdings, who, who owned the land around the Manchester Ship Canal, and Trafford Centre they did anyway, um, he actually got in the water here and swam to Liverpool a few years ago just to show how clean the water was. And it's a 36 mile swim, so it's not bad. Um, but I believe also there was a ford here because in those days before it had been dredged um, it was very shallow and it still is in parts um, it, obviously they dug it out um, to make the Manchester ship canal to the docks so that the, the docks of Liverpool um, you know what they had on, on board could come into the heart of Manchester the cotton the cotton because it's a damp atmosphere is absolutely ideal for twining cotton um, and obviously we needed the food to, to just increase the uh, and pay for the people uh, in, that were coming into Manchester to live. They were coming from the fields and work in the fields and they, it's called the push pull. So they, they were pushed from farmland like Altrincham and Cheshire, milk, cheese, butter. Um, and, and initially the canals, you know, st stuff went on the canals, but it wasn't fast enough. So things like milk, and cheese from Cheshire was actually going off before they got to Manchester. So they built the railways. And so if you think of the canals as the, the arteries of the, the Industrial Revolution, the railway soon took over. So then you really could have lots and lots of milk, dairy, meat um, coming into Manchester because the population was just going ballistic. I think the first water fill, water fueled, um, mill was actually behind um, Manchester Cathedral near the, the, the music school I think and um, that was the first one in the country and obviously that was like so important to Manchester but yeah that that little rock there was the foundation from from Hume Hall